On this episode of Arts Weekly, I'm speaking with Ketu Alatawa from the Three Rivers Institute of African Art and Culture and Mande music master Musa Bolakata Kande. During slavery days when mm -hmm. we had to work together because of the overt oppression, and we understood that as, a, as an exacting strength that we need to bring back into our lives. And Richard Ress from the Concordia Theological Seminary. The acoustics in there cannot be beat. Mm -hmm. I think the, the Philharmonic players just love to come and play in there. This is Arts Weekly. Arts Weekly is a production of the College of Visual and Performing Arts at IPFW, offering degrees in fine arts, music, theater, and visual communication and design. IPFW, the energy of arts. Hello, this is Chuck O'Connor, and you're watching Arts Weekly. Joining me is Mande Music Master Bolakata Kande and Executive Director of the Three Rivers Institute of African Arts and Culture, K2 Alatawa. Good to have you both on Arts Weekly. Thank you for coming on the show. Good to be here, Chuck. Thank you very much. K2, as, uh, as the director of the Three Rivers Institute, uh, you were instrumental in bringing Bolakata here to Fort Wayne. He's been performing all week, uh, teaching classes. Uh, how did you think of this idea to bring Bolakata in? Um, Chuck, we've been doing at TRIAC uh, the Visiting Artists Forum since 2001. We have brought in a series of uh, traditional African artists. And uh, after meeting Bolakata about two years ago up in, uh, at the University of Illinois at Champaign, Urbana, um, it just became very clear to me that Bolakata in Fort Wayne would be a distinct asset. Um, that uh, the skills and the talent and the level of instruction that he brings are unparalleled and that uh, it would be an asset to both the university here and to the community at large. And so that's when we began to have the discussion. Indeed, and he's here, uh, as I say, all week teaching, uh, teaching students of all ages uh, yes. the art of djembe drumming uh, from the mandate culture. Bolakata, you're from West Africa. Uh, what country are you from? I'm from Guinea Conakry. Okay, Guinea. And you're part of the Mande culture, the Mande yeah. tribe yeah. people. Mm -hmm. uh, why is djembe drumming so important to your people? Uh, why djembe is very important to my people because uh, we need the djembe. We have a lot of uh, celebration. New Year's celebration, Fete Tabaski Ramadan, and the wearing baby name ceremony. And then the, when the young people went to work for farmer, we need the djembe. Djembe make very, very people happy in red way. So that's why we like the djembe. It's very important for us. And you've been playing djembe drums pretty much all your life. All my life, my job for djembe. Right, and yeah. you, you, uh, how did you learn how to play? Ah, uh, my mommy told me I was uh, two years old, so I think everything in the house is djembe. My mom would teach brush, spoon, table, so my body, my legs, my mom sort of, when my mom take me, my mom back out and play, my mom sort of, the people said, look, wow, look, you so beat you. My mom said, no, it's start to play drum. So from that time until now, I never stop. I play djembe all the time. So I'm traveling now every world. I toured with the National Ballet seven years. Wow. So I was a leader, the solo in the group. And what's interesting is in Fort Wayne, you're playing with a mixture of jazz, mu jazz musicians and all kinds of stuff. It's going to be wonderful to hear that. Uh, I, you know, we were talking a, a little bit before the show, K2, about how embedded drumming is mm -hmm. in the Mande culture of West Africa. Yes. Is there anything analogous to that in, in our country? Uh, that <laughs> Yes, blues. If you look at traditional blues among African American people, uh, we don't just play the blues uh, when we're on stage. We play the blues in the kitchen. 
when we're cooking. We play the blues when we're in the fields working. We play the blues when we're in the factory. Uh, we sing the blues. The blues is an, a natural part of our uh, existence. And so, yes, there, that is analogous. And if you look at traditional African-American blues structure, and then you bring it across the pond, across the Atlantic, to Mali and uh, Eastern Guinea, you'll find the same blues structure. Mm -hmm. um, the, the, the two go together, and, and in the late 90s, um, some uh, blues artists from America traveled to Guinea and to Mali to work with um, some masters of the culture there. Uh, incredible stuff. Uh, Roy, Roy Cooter mm -hmm. was Roy one. Roy Cooter. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Yeah. Uh, really good, good syncretism between the two, the two styles there. Well, why do you choose, as, as part of Three Rivers Institute of African Art and Culture, why do you think it's important to teach mandate drumming, the kind of drumming that Bolakata does, to, uh, to youth here in Fort Wayne? because it's family-centered. Uh, everything in mandate culture is family-centered. Uh, stems from the family, comes from uh, the ability of families to work together to produce life. Uh, taken directly from the Sunjata epic and the founding of the Mali Empire, uh, where uh, were it not for the varying families that took Sunjata in uh, while he was in exile, the Mali Empire would not have been founded and the, the uh, uh, Soso king, Sumanguru, would not have been overthrown. It was the coalescing of those families that brought the empire into existence. And so we looked back in history and we saw that strength. And we looked back in our own history and we saw the strength that we had as a people during slavery days when mm -hmm. we had to work together because of the overt oppression. And we understood that as, a, as an exacting strength that we need to bring back into our lives. Mm -hmm. And drumming is the excellent way to do that. When Bolakata talks about drumming making the people happy, he's not talking about happy as we understand it. He's talking about happy as an energy force, mm -hmm. happy as a way of reinvigorating life in a people and in an individual. It is very, very embedded into their daily life. We're, we're speaking about how people listen to it all day while all they're day. working, uh, while they're eating. Uh, it is the soundtrack of their lives. It's the soundtrack of life. That's a very good way to put it. And sort of like, uh, I guess, the way some people listen to the radio in their office, but even deeper than that. Yes. I, I suppose. Yes. It's like I listen to NPR, mm -hmm. listen to WBOI all day long. Yeah. Okay. In Guinea, I listen to music all day long. I walk from one place to another and I heard the music all day long. You know, getting back to the sense of community, Bolakata. You were actually uh, sort of released from, I guess, doing other things by your community mm -hmm. so that you could learn how to play the djembe. In other words, when you were identified as a talented individual, uh, you didn't have to do the rest of your chores, I guess is the one way to put it. Is that, is that how it works in your, in your culture? Mm -hmm. Yes. Okay. Yeah. You're your father. Tell me a story about your father. Yeah, uh, my father, my father, he was a farmer work, big, big farmer work. So he never played with me. So, but my father was a young, my mom was a big Mendiani dancer. So my mom, they take my mom for the, uh, the big celebration. My father went there. So my, my father said, Mom, dance. So he loved her. So when I, I started playing djembe, so my father felt, ah, so he's, he's going to be my wife for a plus. Uh, uh -huh. So my, my, my mom happy, so yeah. he pushed me. He pushed you? Yeah, he yeah. pushed me. As fathers yeah, always yeah, do, yeah, 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 or we yeah. hope that they do sometimes. Yeah, like that. How do you find him performing with some of our IPFW students? What do you? Yeah, uh, yeah. The, the students that you worked with this morning? 
oh, the college students? I, I think I meet them today because it's my first time to come for way here. Yeah. But, oh, wow, I'm very happy today because they learn fast and they enjoy, enjoy the gym. Yeah, that's what, so, I, that's what I hear. Yeah. Well, you know, uh, hey, enough talk. Let's let's hear a little bit of djembe music. Will you play the drums for us? Okay. Yeah, okay. Yeah, I like that. Let's do that. Yeah, let's do that. We're going to listen to Bola Kata Kande play the djembe drums. But for more information about the Three Rivers Institute of African Art and Culture, visit triac.org. Arts Weekly will return after Bola Kata. <laughs> 